spooky October TBR time. I am very, oh, let's hide those. You don't get to sneak peek those. I'm very excited for all the books on my October TBR. How did I do on my September one? Looking back, so I keep track of these like in my journal and I actually did pretty good in September. I think there's only gonna be three that I didn't get to in September, which is pretty rare. So we'll see about October, what I get through, because I have a pretty ambitious TBR. Also don't mind the lighting here. I had closed the blinds and started doing an intro, but then it was like dark and I like the natural light, but then there's like this bit of shadow. So I'm trying to like lean over here. I'll insert the little pictures here, so. October TBR, let's jump in. So first up, um, let's get the book club picks up front here. So for the Out of Bounds book club that I co-host with Nikki from Nikki and Bookland, for our October pick, we are going to be reading a new release that I am so excited for, and that is Losers by Harley LaRue. So this one is, uh, if you haven't read the novella, The Dare by Har Har Harley LaRue, definitely read that beforehand because it's like a short, quick, steamy fun time and now this she's expanded into like a full length story and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a duet even so this is like part one and it's going to be reverse harem I don't know about like bully vibes the dare was very much like how do you even describe the dare if you've read it I I, I you know and if you haven't I don't really even know how to describe it but it is a wild time so I know for sure the heroine was like really popular in high school and kind of looked down upon I'm assuming all of the heroes but for sure like the main one from the dare and then they show up at a Halloween party and she loses a dare for him and ends up having to be like his his like slave for the night and do whatever he wants. And they're in college, like they're not still in high school doing this. There's one chapter in The Dare where his friends come into play. And I think then that's what this is like all following. I'm so excited. I think this is gonna be really, really good. And I have high hopes for it. And then next for Smut Club that I co-host with Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl. Let's see, I have a physical copy of this one. We are going to be reading In Peace Lies Havoc by Havoc, Havoc by Ammo Jones. So this is the first book in the Midnight Mayhem series. Cheyenne and I both really like Ammo Jones. I know she like loves Ammo Jones. I've liked the books that I've read from her and I'm excited to give this one a go. This is like a dark circus vibe. I'm excited. We kind of, we matched this one up with October specifically because of like the spooky kind of atmosphere that we think we're gonna get from this one. I'm really, really excited. I've heard really good things, especially about, I think is it the third book. I think that one is maybe like MMF and I've heard like amazing things about that one and I'm just excited. I'm really really excited to jump into this one. Like I know we haven't even set a live show date for this one yet because we haven't even done our September live show. That is on uh, Wednesday. I already just want to like jump in and start reading that. Okay then over on Instagram me and some of my friends announced our next read-along. So we finished up the Wolf Hotel read-along by K.A. Tucker earlier this month and so we announced our next read along that we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing, oh shoot, what's the series title? I don't know what they're, the Broken Bond series by Jay Bree. It's six books and we're going to be reading uh, one of them every single week. So like I'm supposed to be reading the first one this week. We got to get around to that. One by one and we have like live shows. All of that information is up on all of our Instagrams. Um, it's me, Jess from Peace Love Books, Tori from Novel Life, Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl, and Sam from Sam Reads Little. All of us are co-hosting that and we have like the different live shows and everything, all that information on our Instagrams. I'll link everyone below and you can go, and my Instagram is always linked down below so you can go and check that out. So the six books in that series are Broken Bonds, Savage Bonds, Blood Bonds, Forced Bonds, Tragic Bonds, and Unbroken Bonds. I've heard amazing things about this series. I know Jess from Honest Fiction and Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers both love it. I'm excited. I have not read fantasy in a really, really long time. I haven't read a lot of fantasy romance lately, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. It's also reverse harem, which like I absolutely love. So that's going to take up the bulk majority of my reading this month. I mean, that's six books and they're like fantasy ones, so those typically don't read as quickly. So yeah, that's going to be a time commitment. Okay, then next I want to read um, Falter by Fiona Cole, new release. I'm so excited for this. So it's a novella in the Voyeur series. I just absolutely love this series. It's six books, but this novella Falter is going to be a marriage in trouble romance about uh, Olivia and Kent from the fifth book, Liar. I'm really excited because I kind of thought 
Liar did get like a bit rushed at the end and I was kind of like I just wanted more of them together when they weren't like hiding their relationship. It's like a huge age gap, uncle's best friend, all that kind of forbiddenness. If you haven't read Liar yet, you obviously have to read that before you read this. But I'm really excited for Falter and just a new release from Fiona Cole. She's one of my favorites. So I'm very excited for that. Next, we got some spooky books. Gothicana by Ru Runix. Um, I got this book last year and I have not read it yet. I didn't get to it last spooky season and I want to get to it this spooky season. It's um, student teacher, dark academia, gothic vibes. Um, yeah, again, I don't really know too much about this, but I haven't read anything by Runix before. And I know I really want to read her dark verse series. I've heard amazing things about that. I definitely just want to like finally give this a go. And I mean, I love student teachers. So why I haven't read this yet, I couldn't even tell you, but uh my first like big spooky read that I want to read for this year Her Soul for Revenge by Harley LaRue so I loved Her Soul to Take that was in my top 10 books of last year and why I didn't jump into book two as soon as it came out I couldn't tell you except that mood reading is a bitch and it doesn't always let you read books that you were really excited for when they come out so this is the second book so Juniper and Zane and I want to say Zane, the other demon that we met with Leon. I think Zane and Leon were like buddies. And I don't remember who Juniper. Oh, a cult tried to sacrifice me. Was she? I think she was in the last book as well. I don't know exactly, but I'm very excited for this. And I know the third book. I don't think Harley Lou was announced when the third book is coming in this. But I, I just, I didn't get to it last year and I'm mad that I didn't. So I need to read it this year. And another spooky book, another one that I got last year and didn't get to, Hello Heathens by Nicole Fiorina. But this one is, I think, what's her name? Fallon. I'm pretty sure she goes to a world to try to find out what happened to her dad, maybe? Or someone in her family uh, weeping hollow and it's like this creepy town and she arrives and like once she arrives she like can't leave. I want to say do people there like have to wear masks and everything like maybe there's like a mystery or curse about that. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot. I know that there are two versions of this book. Uh, she wrote one that is like an adult romance fantasy of paranormal whatever this is and then I think she wrote like a YA version so that way her like daughter could read it. Um, I have the adult version, obviously. Yeah, I love the Stay With Me series. So I'm excited to read another book from her. Okay, next. Oh, I didn't bring it in here. Um, well, so I already talked to my last TBR. I want to read Magnolia Parks, but I'm planning to do a reading vlog at this month at some point. I know, guys. I always <laughs> fan forbidden and taboo part three. Check back in next month. <laughs> this just turned into such a busy month with readathon and like spooky books. But so I want to read like BookTube's most hyped romances that I've seen. And Magnolia Parks has been everywhere. Everyone and their mother has been talking about that book. So I want to read that. And also I feel like this one is a little older, but I've heard so much about for so many years and I finally bought it. A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. So for the month of September, because it was her wedding month, she had a bunch of her books on sale. Like was this half? off or something almost because this edition because it's the fifth anniversary edition this one normally costs like $35 and I got it for like 17 if you wanted any of Candy Steiner's books especially some one like this like the anniversary edition run to Amazon right now and also I'm going to be seeing, seeing Candy Steiner book bonanza so I wanted to get like I don't have any physical copies of her books so I was like well I'll get this for that so anyways I want to read a love letter to whiskey I'm thinking that this is going to be like a five star like this is kind of like a five star prediction for me I've just heard so much much about it over the years I've heard so many of my friends love and talk about it and how like angsty and emotional and frustrating and like ah how amazing it is so I'm thinking I'm really gonna like it so I'm going to read this one for the vlog I'm not sure about the third book yet because I had a third one picked out because it's talked about so much but I just really don't think I'd like it and I don't want to like pick out a book that I think I'm not gonna like and then if I don't like it then be just like talk negative about it the whole time where like I think I'm really gonna love this and I think I'll like Magnolia Parks where I'm gonna see I'm gonna see about that third book so I don't have it on my TBR here but I'm gonna do some thinking some ruminating and if I just have to bite the bullet and read the book but I just I don't know so third book to be determined for that vlog. Another spooky book, Faded by Liza James. This one is a paranormal romance, I think. I don't think it's werewolves or like vampires. I think it's like angels. Does that sound right? I don't know. 
but I haven't read anything by Liza James because I'm supposed to be reading Vibe for that Band for Bend Taboo reading blog that I have not read yet. So um, I do want to read this. I do have the other one, Descent. I love these covers. I think they're so pretty. So, and I just know that this is like going to give me a spooky time and I'm just in the mood for that with it being October. So putting this on the TBR. And lastly, one that's more like, I just needed to write this one down before I forgot about it again. And that is A Place Without You by Julianne. So, cause I remember uh, Cheyenne had told me about this book months ago and I added it on my Goodreads TBR and then I forgot about it. And then we were talking on a live show recently and she brought it up again. And I was like, shoot, I like forgot about that. So I'm putting it on here. I don't know if I'm going to get to it, but it's more just like, so that way it's on my radar again. And uh, so this one is a guidance counselor and student romance, which y'all know, Sweet Dandelion by Macaulay Smelter is like my favorite standalone. And that is the same premise. And I've never read anything by Julianne before. So I don't know if I'll get to this this month, but I mean, student teacher vibes, I'm always into. So yeah. All right. That is all of the books on my TBR. Like I said, I will be adding that. Will I even be sticking to that? No way in hell, except for like the readathon and the book club books. Obviously those I will be sticking to, but it's the other ones that I'm really, really hoping to get to all of these. So anyways that is it for today I will have my um September wrap up on what this is going up on Tuesday I'll have that up on Friday so anyways that's it for today and I will see you when I see you